Okay, so we are live. Okay. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to NRTV. Hey. <laughs> I am quarantined and Nina is at the office right now. Hey. I'm so glad we're back open. I was I was kind of shook for a second. I was like, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> you were shook. I was shook. Have we been busy today? Um, we're kind of like slowly like transitioning into things. Um, not seeing a lot of you know, people were still, um, everybody's still trying to adjust to, you know, what we went through. People are still scared to come out. Um, but we are servicing clients um, with the new guidelines that we have in place with the Board of Cosmetology and then also that um, what Brian Kemp, the governor, put in place. So pretty much, um, I guess, the, the new, the social distancing, uh, making sure that the clients have a mask, following the sanitation practices, pretty much everything that you should typically be doing in um cosmetology um and we have taken um I, they have like new guidelines and new trainings so we have taken the new trainings on sanitation that include you know the effects of the coronavirus so we're pretty much up to code on everything um so we actually did just launch for for those of you guys who don't know we did just launch the at home hair therapy program um nina i wanted to ask you to kind of just go over like how that's been going as far as just doing virtual consultations and everything like that because i know people have had like a lot of questions um just as far as like how that process works and everything so um yeah if you want to just like run through how that's been going this first okay. well let me just start off by saying i really love the virtual consultations and the reason why is because i feel like i'm able to now help people that's not physically located here in atlanta so it's like yeah so yay i'm just so excited for that um but the, it's going very well it's going very well um we're getting a lot of responses into women who's been seeing our youtube videos watching us on show, social media and i feel like we've been put in a position to really help because um i am seeing some similarities um as it pertains to hair loss mm -hmm. with the different types of people that's coming in we have a lot of female clients um of all different age ranges let me just say that um but very strong african-american um you know women who are suffering from hair loss and you know i feel i think people feel a lot comfortable with the home at home program because we're having a one-on-one -on -one conversation um no one is there to see their hair they don't physically even have to show me their hair when we're doing the virtual consultations they can upload a picture i have all of the information before we even start you know our our consultation um and i think people feel a lot more comfortable in in this setting i guess the way things is, is happening right now definitely like you can just get on um kind of talk about your symptoms don't even really have to take your hat off or take your wig off to kind of show you what's going on. You can kind of just, you kind of just verbally go through what's. So we have a, we have an intake form. So they'll fill out the questionnaire, the hair loss questionnaire. And then there's a section for them to actually load up their pictures. So they're loading up their hair loss pictures in advance. And I'm looking over all of that before we actually start. So, you know, I'm kind of leading them, um, with the questions that i need so that we can make a great assessment and put together a, the customized um protocol for them and women i mean they really like it they appreciate it and what we're doing too is that what i found is we're incorporating hair loss and wellness together right so a lot of women who are experiencing hair loss they're experiencing it um because they do have some nutritional mineral deficiencies Mm -hmm. um, I see a lot of the hormones are not where it should be. Um, yeah, you have women that have had low vitamin vitamin D levels, um, anemia, and then there's cases where you know women have been suffering from hair loss for a long time and resulted to doing like different hairstyles. So now since they're they're quarantined, they're happy because you know I can take this wig off. You know I don't have to wear the extensions, and now right. I actually have the time to treat my hair. Exactly. And I say that this, you know, it's a they say a blessing and a curse. But these women who are suffering from hair loss, they're they're not in corporate America. They actually have time at home to sit down and, and do some self care. 
And so I think the next thing um, I kind of wanted to go into, what are the common sort of concerns that you've been seeing? I know you said you had some similarities within some of your clients. Um, you know, what is it that we are, that you're seeing a trend in? Like, is it thinning? Is it shedding? Is it um, alopecia? So I'm seeing a lot of um, CCCA, which is in, you know, African-American women, seeing a lot of that. I'm seeing um, something that's called telogen effluvium, and that's where you experience hair loss all over. Um, and, you know, a lot of that comes from a lot of women have anemia, um, didn't understand the severity of not having adequate amounts of ferritin levels. Right. And then also hormone related, you know, women who are um, menopausal and women who have PCOS. So that's another thing that um, I'm seeing a lot of us who are, have suffered from hair loss for years because we have PCOS and we didn't address the hormone issue with the, with the PCOS, nor did we address the hair loss issue. So for some of these, um, for some of these cases, is the hair loss reversible? Like, is, are you able to, you know, treat it and actually make a comeback, make a turnaround? Um, you know, for some of these women who've had X amount of concerns for years and just really didn't know, you know? Right. So we are, so we are, and it, and it just depends on the severity of the hair loss. So I like, I like to keep it, I like to be very honest and forthcoming. If you don't have any hair and we are trying to one, balance out the body first. So the first thing, whatever is going on on the inside, we have to bring those levels back to optimal levels. And then once we do that, then we have our external products that we're using to help stimulate the hair follicles for growth. Mm -hmm. So if the follicle is alive, then yes, we can rejuvenate the hair. How long will it take? It is going to take some time. In the cases where there's no hair. So if there's cases where we, we have hair on the scalp, but you have your hair is thin all over or is really short, mm -hmm. as long as there's something there, you have a higher chance of seeing faster results versus someone that doesn't have any hair. Gotcha. You know, like we've gotten a lot of questions about how many weeks this protocol runs. So is it the same for everyone or is it different just based on, you know, what they're going through? It's, it's not the same for everyone. Um, it's different because it is customized. Well, um, and when I tell you it's customized, it's customized to the T. So if you tell me that you're having, you know, problems, you know, gut problems, going to the bathroom, like I'm, I'm getting in there and I'm even like putting stuff in there that's we're going above and beyond just the hair loss side. Do so you actually create a custom plan for each specific case? Like each person, yes, hair loss and wellness. And, that, and that's another thing, guys. Um, I am certified now um, as a um, holistic health practitioner. So we are touching in on the health side. Um, for me, that has always been a long passion. I've always um, worked with people that wanted to take a holistic route. Mm -hmm. So now I'm able to incorporate this in, you know, into the hair loss side. So a lot of times you have people that don't have health insurance and they can't get into the doctor mm -hmm. and they still have problems that could be contributing to their hair loss. So now we're able to help them. And in addition to that, we are doing um, another type of test that they can do right from the comfort of their home. So um, I think we're talking about the... Hold on. See that that's how that's what happens when you're not physically in here working. <laughs> All right, so you were talking about the hair mineral test. <laughs> yeah, so the hair mineral test is um, so we you will send us a sample of your hair, and then once we get the sample, it goes to the laboratory, and then this test will tell us everything that you're deficient in. So, say for example, just use the PCOS women for example. Mm -hmm. So you've had PCOS for years. Um, you tried different things; it didn't work. Well, there could be a possibility that you've been exposed to different, like mercury, heavy heavy metal. Um, mm -hmm. You could have had certain minerals that was deficient and causing you to feel a certain way, having anxiety, contributing to hair loss. So everything is tied in. So the the mineral test gives us. Um, I guess a broader, a broader, um, a broader area to treat and kind of get into the real core of what's going on with your body. That sounds extremely helpful. So another thing that um, I kind of notice a lot with some of the women is that, you know, we're we're seeing some of the videos, especially in our community, and 
similarity is that we're doing a lot of co-washing and we're not actually shampooing our hair. Um, that's going to be something that we really have to change. I, I want you to, you know, everyone, when you watch, when you look at this video, you want to, you want to do good scalp health the same way that you're taking care of the rest of your body. So you're, if you're, you're taking a shower every day, you making sure that your legs and your arms is clean. You want to make sure that your scalp is clean. Not saying that you have to shampoo your hair every day, but if, if you're doing it once a month, let's get in the habit of going, you know, once a week. And then for all of my women who do have scalp conditions, then you will need to shampoo your hair more frequently. And this is my women that have CC, CCCA as well. Um, you need to, you know, at least shampoo your hair twice a week. And depending on the condition, it may be more. And the reason for that is, is that when you shampoo your hair and you're cleaning your scalp, you're opening up your pores, but at the same time, just the friction is you're constantly creating circulation, you're keeping your hair moist. Um, it's, it, it just all goes hand in hand. I've definitely had to step up my wash game because I used to be really lazy with the washing, but definitely I wash once a week. Is that too much? No, it's once a week is perfect because, you know, you're sweating, especially if you work out and you have all the, the natural salts that's on your scalp and your hair. And then constantly just, you know, putting products on top of, you know, hair that's not clean is not good. Right. Yeah, because then I used to get really bad with like, creating a buildup and then it would get itchy yeah yeah even my son so like because you know the kids are home now yeah. so my son the one that's normally away at college so he's there and he has like his little twists with his hair and he was like well i just shampoo my hair and my hair is still itching okay well how many times are you how many times did you shampoo your hair that one setting just one time so you just put the shampoo in there shampoo it rinse yeah. it out and that's it your scalp is still dirty. Yeah. You have to at least do it three times to make sure that it's clean. All right. Well, um, that brings me into the products. Okay. Um, Grow and Glow Shampoo. Mm -hmm. So our Grow and Glow Shampoo is more of like a cleansing shampoo. Mm -hmm. So it's going to remove any impurities from your scalp. It's good to, to help to remove dead skin cells. Um, so this is this shampoo you would use before you, um, I guess, the if you have a moisturizing shampoo, you're going to use our um, Glow and Grow shampoo first to help cleanse your scalp. So the shampoo is helping to remove impurities from your scalp, keeping your scalp clean and in good health for hair growth. And it also has ingredients in there. If you are, if you do suffer from hormonal hair loss, it can help to remove the DHT from the scalp. So shampoo does not grow your hair, but it makes sure that you have a healthy scalp for hair growth and proper and more most importantly that like proper ph balance for your scalp yes it has zinc in there which is really good for it's going to control the amount of sebum that you produce so this is we're talking about a lot of my um clients caucasian clients have oily scalps so this will help to calm down your scalp um i see a lot of women who have a buildup of candida this this is the growing glow shampoo will be good for you um not only does it have herbal extracts, it's going to deep clean and purify the scalp to the root to the hair, but it's good for your, your itchy, oily scalp. There's sometimes when you do have a buildup of yeast, your scalp is smelly, it's going to address that and dandruff, but it also has a clarifying effect. So it's really like pulling out the impurities from your scalp. So it, I mean, it treats so many different things. I'm so excited. And, and, that, and that's the thing too, is that when a lot of times when we shampoo our hair and, and i'm not downing anyone's product but you have to know what type of shampoo to use so that you can get the results that you're looking for so just masking shampoo putting shampoos on your scalp that smell good but it may not have the appropriate type of ingredients that you need for your hair and in addition to that we also have another type of um, shampoo that's for more of our um, clients that have advanced cases of hair loss, like our CCCA clients. Um, we have a different type of antifungal shampoo for them. Um, I'm going to leave a link down below so you guys can click on that one. And then we can talk about the conditioner. So the Grow and Glow conditioner, now that has ingredients that's going to lock in moisture in your hair. Mm -hmm. um, it's, it's, everyone talks about like sealing, you know, um, their, I guess, split ends or unhealthy hair strands, this conditioner would do this for you. Um, it also is infused with emu oil, which is very beneficial for hair growth, and it has antifungal properties as well. So not only is it tackling 
locking in moisture, but it's, it's also help helping with inflammation. Things is not good on, on the, the scalp and hair. Um, real quick, are these for, these are for all hair types, right? Or is it yeah. just catered to a specific hair type? This is for all health. Hair types and ethnicities can use these products. Okay. You can actually leave this conditioner on your scalp. So if you, you buy the, the shampoo, you're going to shampoo your scalp. And then when you put the conditioner on, you can actually leave the conditioner on for 5 to 15 minutes, depending on um, the severity of the, the conditioner. Or even if you just want to add moisture to your, your scalp, yeah. um, it's going to deep clean your, your scalp, but also your, your hair. Um, it's good for itchiness, redness, and also inflammation. So again, so it's not you're getting a um, a really high end <laughs> a high end form of a conditioner that's that's treating something versus um, I guess more on the cosmetic side. So it's actually going to treat you know your hair or scalp issue rather than just oh my hair is hydrated and it smells good and I can style it and put curls in it. Like this is actually right. rejuvenate your hair. Exactly, and and that should be the purpose. Yeah. Whatever you want to use quality products so that you're getting some type of result. Um, let's move on to the Grow and Glow um, supplements, the vitamins. Yes. So these are really big. We've had these out for a while. So it's all natural. It also has ingredients in there such as chlorophyll. That's not in your typical hair, skin, and nail vitamins. And this is going to help remove pretty much detox any impurities that's from the hair follicle and like your, your bloodstream. So when I say a follicle, let me just be more specific, the bloodstream. So when you're eating foods or even if you have, you've taken a medication, um, there's a lot of things that's toxic. So this is going to help remove that from the, from the bloodstream, which is good for your body too. Um, thus in return, it will promote um, a healthy hair strand. It has a complete B complex in there, which is really good for, um, you know, if you're suffering from anxiety, um, nervousness, B complex is really good for, um, for your hair. Right. Um, yes. A lot of women who have, um, delivered a baby and they go through, what is that? Post, what post, post what is it called? I never had yeah, that. Not postpartum. <laughs> um, I forgot what it is, but you know, after you, after you've had your baby and you start to experience hair loss. Right. This is a, this is another strong hair skin hair skin and nail vitamin um, that's going to be beneficial for your hair but also your skin too. Right. So it's all natural. Yes. Is it the same for the um, DHT blocking supplements as well that we have? So the DHT blocking supplements, um, as far as the ingredients per vitamin, um, it it has more of a concentration and it's a little bit different. So the DHT blocking vitamin is for someone who has PCOS, which has a hormonal imbalance, mm -hmm. and for women who have um, hormonal imbalance from if you delivered your baby, your hormone is trying to go back to where it needs to be at. If you've been through menopause, this is going to this is going to be beneficial for you. And even if you um, are stressed and your cortisol level, your stress hormone is elevated, this supplement is for you. And see where the consultation is very important. So even if you just want to purchase and you have questions before purchasing it, which, which of the, the vitamins is best for you, you guys can always shoot us an email and we can kind of direct you in the, in the right place to order. Right. And these are for men and women, right? Oh, yes. Okay. So more than likely, if you are a man, you're suffering from hair, from hair loss, you will go to the DHT um, supplementation. Gotcha. And just comparing the difference in this to the our growing glow is that this is, like I said before, it's designed for if you have um, hormone-related hair loss. But just some of the ingredients that's in here, like the saw palmetto, which is going to tr treat the hormone-related hair loss. You have horsetail extract. You have zinc, which is going to, again, slow down the conversion of the DHT. Um, it's just a well-balanced type of supplement that's going to address thinning but also it's going to help to balance out your body for those who are really deficient in certain um vitamins and minerals that that's beneficial for hair growth okay cool so this is going to actually work from the inside out so yeah okay. right so it's working from the inside out for nutrition deficiencies our growing glow is also giving you the adequate amount of nutrients but it's it's detoxifying at the same time so one detoxifies for hair growth one is giving you a, a stronger amount of nutrition um for those that's lacking certain minerals for oh. hair growth gotcha so would it be wise to 
to take both at once. So we do, I have, have some clients that'll do it. So what they'll do is since both of them require you to take it twice a day, mm -hmm. they'll take one of the Grown Glow and then they'll take one of the DHT blocking pill, which is equivalent to two pills a day. So you're not getting high doses of pills. And a lot of them are, it's water soluble. So when you drink water, it'll pass out through your, your urine. So you're, you're fine. Let's talk about the scalp, uh, or I'm sorry, not the scalp, the, the mask, the scalp mask treatment. Mm -hmm. So our scalp mask treatment, it is advanced because it does two things. So one is it helps with, if you have dermatitis, it's going to help calm down your dermatitis. It's really good for calming down folliculitis, which sometimes when you have the beginning stages of CCCA or just CCCA in general, you can have two of the conditions together, um, folliculitis, CCCA, um, it's good for that. And then it also has ingredients to stimulate your scalp for hair growth. Mm -hmm. Yes. So it's, we're taking care of your scalp, but we're also stimulating your, your hair for growth, which is very important. So a lot of times when people have products, um, they have the shampoo and conditioner, they don't have anything that's going to really, you know, get in there and stimulate the scalp. We've, you know, thought, thought about that. And that's why we have this. And it's good because if you you can use it two ways you can use it with a plastic cap on your head if you don't have a steamer put a plastic cap on your head just take a blow dryer and just apply a little bit of heat just open up things let it sit for about 30 minutes or if you have a steamer you can sit up under the steamer with the hair mask on you know for up to 40 minutes and how often um how often do you think for like during your wash routine do you need to use the mask so it just depends. So it depends on what type of hair loss you have. I do have some clients who are doing this, um, the scalp mask every week. Um, there are some that's doing it twice a week, and there are some women who are doing it every two weeks. So it just, it just varies. Gotcha. So this is our follicle spark spray, and um, I, this is new to me, so I'm not sure about mm -hmm. that. So the follicle spark spray is follicle is what it says it is going to help um, rejuvenate your scalp. It's going to put your hair, your scalp in a uh, healthy pos position to absorb the nutrients that's inside of the product. So the product is like all natural. Um, going back to the ladies who are experiencing hormonal hair loss is really good for for those areas, and it is good um, just for. I, I, I say um, thinning all over, like you were spot thinning or even balding in certain areas. You can use it all over. This is a multi-purpose um, hairspray. So it's a, it's a little bit different than our Growing Glow oil. Um, this, the spray, depending on what we're treating, you can put it on in the morning time or you can put it on at nighttime and it doesn't, you don't have to wash it out either. So and also what the spray does too is that it helps to extend the antigen phase which is is keeping your hair in the growing phase longer which is very important so that's a, that's a big thing keep your hair in the growing phase so again so after you have your baby you have those pcos um or just if you are experiencing hair loss due to medication so many different things that means that your hair has it, the cycle of it has stopped so this spray is going to help to push it back in the growing phase and keep it there longer. So the Growing Glow Oil also has ingredients for one, um, if you're suffering from dry scalp, this is, this is really going to be good for you because it has ingredients to kind of put your hair back in a healthy state as far as all the natural, all the natural and important oils that you need. In addition, it has stimulating ingredients that will promote hair growth. Um, it has also been used to calm down um, someone, if you have like an itchy scalp, it helps to calm your scalp down as well. One thing what I do want to say about the our Growing Glow oil is that it's, a, it's formulated different than most oils. So it can be used with any type of hair loss that you're experiencing or just for your overall hair growth. And you can put it on your hair strands. Um, so yeah, I'll, and I'll just leave it like that. I don't want to get things to get too complicated. But yeah, it, it's a, it's a multi-purpose um, oil that you can use. You can even do a hot oil treatment on your. Yeah, I was just gonna say. I remember I did the um the hot oil treatment. Come here, mama. I'm sorry, my dog. <laughs> and so these are the products that we are that we have. Um, but when, for the virtual consultations, we even get more into depth with more 
supplements that's not even listed on the site. So there is more things that go into these personalized um, at home kits that we send that we send to our clients. So it's way more than than what we just went over. Exactly. So just you know, just a regular person who's scrolling through the website, whatever you purchase from the product line is going to be separate from the at home hair therapy products. Right. So go ahead. Right. So what do you? So it's in addition. So you may get some of what you see on our site but it's more that goes into the, the package. Yes. And it just depends because every package is customized. Every package is customized. So again, so I am not only am I a licensed cosmetologist, I am a certified trichologist through WTS. That's the World Trichology Society. Um, so it's different. So I didn't take a two-day trichology course. Um, this was leading up to a year to two years um, through this society. World prestigious um, organization in addition to that, um, I am with the American Drugless Practitioner, American Drugless Society as a holistic um, health practitioner. So, you know, I, I take education series, the information, and also every type of supplementation that I am suggesting um, to my clients. Absolutely. And um, you guys can find us on Instagram at Nina Ross ATL. And you guys can also find us on shop.ninaross.co. That information is going to be down below. And you'll just click that link so that you guys can actually read through and purchase all of these products. So with us putting together this program, we understand like right now there's a lot of people that's not working or hours have been reduced. But you still need to care for your hair. Um, so we do have, we are working with the company. So if you, if you decide to purchase the program or you want to purchase products, we have a system in place on the site where it will split your payments up into four. So for an example, if you were to purchase something and say it costs a hundred dollars, then when you make your purchase, you'll only be paying $25 um, for th th that purchase and it will split the rest of your payments up for you. So convenient because we all need to save some money. <laughs> oh yeah, definitely. Definitely. We yeah. do have to do it. And there's, you know, there's even times where I did it when I was, buying a purse or something like that so yeah so i love splitting up my payments into four right um yeah so like i said if you have questions or you have any if you have any conditions just do the consultation so we can kind of guide you and especially for my clients who can't get out like do have like some older clients that can't come or people that do have underlying conditions or even my clients who was getting treatments and still still scared to come to the you know the, the salon and clinic for treatments you know, this program is extended to you as well. Um, you know, and like I said, you still have access to me through the virtual consultations, which people really are starting to like it. And the virtual consultation is just me looking over the information that you sent from the, from the questionnaire. Mm -hmm. And I will give you suggestions. However, we, we don't force anything on you. Um, but most of the time when people are coming for a consultation, they want solutions. So the solution is us, you know, putting together a customized protocol for them. All right, you guys. So thank you so much for tuning in. Once again, we post content once a week on YouTube and we also are posting throughout the week on Instagram. So make sure you guys are following us. Make sure you guys turn on our post notifications so that you won't miss a right. video and subscribe to our channel. <laughs> and we're signing off. <laughs> All right. All right. Bye guys.